213 Rock with Eric Melodica on Vinyl Times Classic Rock Radio. Tous les, toutes les plateformes et ainsi en magasin depuis le 12 mars dernier. Cet album-là, il est juste incroyable et il y a très bons titres. Voyons cela de plus près. Aldo, The Metal Media welcomed very well at this album. All spoke about the quality of the production. Yes, the production, I, I have been behind the artistic production and I decided to, to mix and master with Simone Mularoni, which, as I told you a few minutes ago, right. he is one of my best friends here in Italy. He's awesome. And, and when it comes to Secret Sphere, I, I don't want to work as a mixing engineer. Uh, I, I, I really prefer to stay in, only in the artistic production and, and I really prefer to be only musician. Uh, I'm a, I, I found the, the team with Simone for Secret Sphere and I think that he really knows the sound that I, that I want. And at the moment, I think he's the only one here that can really help me to find the, the best sound for Secret Sphere. And this time, I think that everything is perfect. The, the 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 music is well balanced with the uh, with the vocals. The orchestra is, is are on the right place. Uh, I, I was not really happy with the previous album of Secret Sphere because, in my opinion, there were the the vocals too much uh, in front comparing to the music. But this time everything is really really perfect. And and I think that w when everything is really balanced with the music and the vocals, I think that even the the listeners can can be can can be more involved into into the music uh, into the the album so i'm really happy to have simone by my side when i when when it comes to produce the new secret sphere album voilà, c'est ça, il le dit hein, en même temps. Euh, L'album, il a été produit par donc euh, Aldo lui-même, mixé par Simone Milleroni, la paire incroyable italienne. Hein, voilà, l'Italie est en train de sérieusement s'imposer en termes de métal en Europe. C'est euh, vraiment deux gros producteurs et ils sont là, ils ont le son dans les doigts, ils ont le feu quoi. Hein. Ils ont des bonnes idées, c'est toujours bien produit, c'est bien, euh, c'est bien fait quoi. Le travail est excellent, ça, ça il faut vraiment le souligner. Ces deux, ces deux, ces deux personnes là sont vraiment énorme quoi et si vous les avez avec vous sur un album c'est quelque chose hein, parce que ça va sonner à la perfection quoi et en même temps la presse européenne a vraiment souligné la qualité de cet album en disant tout simplement que la production était énorme quoi voilà ça c'est vraiment ce qu'il faut retenir concernant le, la production euh, donc sur ce nouvel album Life Blood en direct avec nous ce soir Aldo Lonobile le guitariste producteur du groupe Secret Sphere qui vient nous présenter l'album donc euh, Life Blood sorti le 12 mars dernier Aldo euh, Roberto Messina is back in the house man Wow. Yes, after eight years. Ah. Roberto, uh, I, I grew up with, with Roberto. I, I know Roberto since, uh, I don't know, but I think 30 years or 35 years. <laughs> we okay. were, okay. We, we were, yeah, we were a child when we started to, to play music together and we formed Secret Sphere at the high school. He has always be the, been the, the, the original vocals of the band. When we in uh, 2012 it was only because at, at, the, at the time uh, the vision of the music of the band was really were really different between me and and and, and Roberto he was more uh, focused on uh, alternative rock he was he was a uh, really far away from metal at that time and he was not involved as like like at the beginning that's why we decided to to go separate ways But after eight years, uh, I, I, I managed to, to, be, to be again with Roberto, and it's really a great result for me because we, we need both to, to, to play together. Secret Sphere needs Roberto, and Roberto needs Secret Sphere because it's, it's the perfect alchemy. Uh, our music it's, uh, works perfectly for his, for his vocals. It's so perfect, you know, the circle when uh, when everything when 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 everything on the right place. And I'm very happy that that finally we had the chance to talk with uh, uh, with Roberto. We we discussed all the plan for the future. We we try to understand if there were again the chance to 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 stay in the same band and compose music. Uh, there were too much difference between uh, Secret Sphere and and, and Michele Lupi. Uh, he is more for 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 um, 
for hard rock, more for um, AOR music. He's a he's an amazing singer, and he he's still a f- big friend of mine. But it simply doesn't work for him in the band. Okay. That's why uh, at the end of the of the day, we decide to go separate ways with Michele, and and finally. Roberto is again in the band. Ok, alors on va essayer de résumer un petit peu tout ça. Euh, Roberto Messina, le chanteur des albums, des grands albums de Secret Sphere. Hein. Je rappelle quand même qu'il y a eu le Mistress of the Shadow Light, A Time It Never Comes, sorti en 2001, euh, Scent of Human Desire en 2003, Heart and Anger 2005, Sweet Blood Theory 2008, Archetype 2010. Et puis à un moment donné, donc euh, ensuite il y a eu une différence en, de, de, de goût musical parce que Roberto est parti plus sur des trucs alternatifs, rock. Et puis ah, ensuite donc, elle a eu l'arrivée sur deux albums notamment avec Michele Lupe qui a chanté et euh, Michele Lupe est beaucoup plus AOR beaucoup plus FM et puis bon ça collait pas vraiment et Robert donc et en fait et Roberto Messina est revenu quoi est revenu en force quoi et puis re, l'association Roberto Messina et Aldo Nobile elle date depuis 35 ans en arrière depuis leur, leurs études hein, le high school comme ils le disent donc depuis leurs études depuis qu'ils sont jeunes quoi c'est ça le truc quoi et depuis qu'ils sont jeunes ils se connaissent donc ils se connaissent parfaitement en fait ce sont deux frères quoi voilà quoi and I think Roberto He's happy today. He wanted to find the fever of the past is stronger than anything now. Yes, he's uh, he he improved his vocals during the the last eight years. He's more more strong in his vocals. His voice is more more mature, and and I, I think that he delivered a, an amazing performance. Um, the, the the production of the vocals. Uh, It's really amazing. It's it's perfect in my in my opinion. There are lots of lots of work on the on the choice, lots of work on the backing vocals. He really did great this time. He was uh, he was a bit a little bit worried, you know, because when you're out of of the band since eight years and basically you are out of of the scene for eight years because in during the the last eight years, Roberto, I, I think that he did a couple of songs. But nothing more. He, he just been focused on other things. But now he is again on, back on track, and he's, as you said, stronger than uh, than before. He's really, really strong now. Ouais, effectivement, il c'est c'est très fort aujourd'hui. Hein. Roberto est de retour. La fièvre, elle monte, hein. comme il a dit tout à l'heure. Roberto a besoin de Secret Sphere. Secret Sphere a besoin de Roberto. Voilà, c'est ça. C'est le mélange. C'est comme ça que ça se passe. C'est juste excellent, quoi. Le, le, donc la légende, le légendaire chanteur des Secret Sphere est de retour. Et sur ce disque Live Blood, ça tue, quoi. En direct avec nous ce soir, Aldo Nolobile est en direct avec nous depuis l'Italie. L'album Live Blood est sorti depuis le 12 mars dernier. Voici le track listing Shaping Reality. Ça démarre avec ça. Ensuite, Live Blood, The End of the Go, Life Survivors, Alive Against All the Odds, Thank You, The Violent Once, Solarity Fight, Sky Worlds, ainsi que The Life We The Life We Love. Ça finira donc avec deux titres très mélodiques. Le line-up, c'est Roberto Messina au chant, Aldo Lobile à la guitare, Andrea Borato à la basse, Gabriele Chia Chia notamment au clavier et Marco Lazzarini à la batterie. Ça, c'est le line-up, euh, les, ouais, c'est le line-up de Secret Sphere aujourd'hui, quoi. And um, the new album, Live Blood, this is your ninth, ninth uh, album, rich in energy, working in depth with, by uh, powerful guitars. Pouf. Powerful guitars yes. on it, yeah. Yes, yes, it's yeah, yeah, exactly. The 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 guitars are more present in in in, in this album than in the previous one. Mm-hmm. It's more uh, oriented to the to the guitars, to the to the to the, um, to the metal, typical Italian symphonic power metal. You know, mm-hmm. the one that yes. that we that we helped to create with in, back in the nineties with with bands like labyrinth or vision divine you know time storm and i remember time storm <laughs> yes yes the from uh, the label storm. underground symphony i remember that label yes yes <laughs> yeah, they, are, they, they are from rome It's okay a band from rome they are very very nice person i i think that they are again okay working on on some new music cool and and it's it's really i'm i'm happy you know because in the in the in the in the last couple of albums that we did with michele there were more the We were more focused on on the pro- on the progressive and hard rock side of our music. We we used to 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 add all the time since the beginning several influences that we have because we are really open mind when it comes to music. We we listen to to all the music. We we are not focused on heavy metal, thrash metal. We, we listen everything. I, I I love 
pop music as well. I love country. I, I love many, many things. I, I, I am a huge fan of the synth music of the 80s. So um, we have really many, many influences. But this time we decide to be, to be more focused on the power metal stuff with, with, with a little bit more of the, of what we, we learned during, during the years because, you know, album by album, uh, we learn more things, more things about the production and we are more able to, to, to melt together all the influences. Ok, le neuvième album Live Blood qui est très riche en énergie avec un travail très profond et un gros mur de guitare. C'est dans la tradition italienne, hein, vraiment dans la tradition italienne qu'a été fait cet album de, euh, dans une orientation power metal. C'est ce qu'ils aiment en Italie. Hein. D'ailleurs, Aldo est aussi influencé par tout ce qui est sorti dans les années 80. Mais cette fois-ci, il a voulu garder ce côté hein, euh, italien power metal. C'est leur scène à eux. D'ailleurs, il a fait référence à d'excellents groupes, notamment Labyrinthe. J'ai fait référence à Time Storm et etc. Donc ça, ce sont des, des, des groupes de tradition, des groupes légendaires en Italie, des gros groupes que les fans connaissent hein, et qu'on connaît aussi à travers en Europe hein, parce qu'on aime aussi la, la bonne musique. Et voilà, et c'est ça quoi. C'est le, c'est le son italien et je vous dis, la scène italienne est en train de grandir step by step. I said, the Italian metal scene is growing up seriously step by step, every year seriously. Aldo, Secret Fair is 25 years of experience. Uh, the album starts, Live Blood, with the prelude, Shaping Reality, and then comes some uh, very strong tracks like Live Blood, The End of Ego, Against All the Odds, and Thank You. Wow. 25 years yes. of experience, and finally you got that kind of music, actually. Yes, yes, because as I said in the, in the, previous, in the previous answer, mm. we, I think that now we are really able to to let live together all the style that we used to to have to had in the past. In we have, for example, an album like uh, Scent of Human Desire, which is our third album, and it was an experiment. For example, trying to to have together hard rock and heavy metal and power metal. But I think that we had a lack of experience on that time, and and it doesn't work really well. This time we have more experience. We are more able to 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 let live together all the influences. So you 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 can find in this new album a song like "Lifeblood," which is a typical mm -hmm. Secret Field power metal song with with many solos, with uh, huge riffs, uh, epic orchestration, and and an, an amazing chorus. But you can find also songs like uh, Against All The Odds, which is basically more AOR oriented. It's a little bit more uh, more hard rock with, with a little bit of progressive because in the, 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 the instrumental section, it's remind a lot to, 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 to bands like Dream Theater. Or you can find songs like uh, The Lie We Love, which is the last one. And it's a very long song. And, mm -hmm. and, and you have, it's, it's, it's really a, a song that we composed thinking to a, to a musical, to a metal opera, but we, with some parts like Meat Loaf, for example, at the end of, at the, end of the song, there is a, a huge choice section that reminds a lot to Meat Loaf, which is another artist that I really love. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that right now, after all these years of composing music and, and releasing album, finally we are, we are really able to To, to let live together all our um, influences and styles. Ouais, effectivement, le l'album Live Blood, il y a beaucoup d'influence. Hein. Il a notamment euh, nommé euh, dans un trip, bien sûr, encore une fois, dans la grande tradition italienne du power metal Live Blood. Mais il y a aussi le dernier titre hein, qui clôture l'album The Lie We Love, euh, qui est aussi qui est un titre très mélodique et qui dure à peu près 8 minutes. Et il a aussi une passion à l'intérieur. Il, il y a une petite partie comme ça consacrée un peu, euh, qui rappelle un peu du côté de Mick Love, qui est aussi un grand fan. Donc c'est ça, c'est le nouvel album, je vous dis, c'est le nouvel album Live Blood de Secret Sphere. Il est super. Quoi, en tout cas, quoi. Thank you. Aldo, the musical rhythm of the album remains very well balanced from the, uh, from the beginning to the end. Oh yeah, from the beginning to the end. Very well balanced. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, we tried, we tried to, 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 we worked a lot deciding the track list mm. because, you know, it's, 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 it's important to choose the, the, the right song at the right place, you know. So we tried different solutions and, and I think that How is it now? It's developed with a with a with a with a correct concept, you know, from the 
from the bombastic intro, the blasting the first song, Lifeblood, which you, with, with, with this huge chorus, and then we have Andy coming to an end with a, with an epic long song. So it's, it's, it's well balanced, as you said, also in the track list. Ouais, effectivement, hein, l'album est très très bien équilibré. Hein, ça démarre assez fort au milieu, euh, beaucoup plus hard rock, et puis ouais, à la fin, ça, ça termine notamment sur deux titres très mélodiques, Skywards et The Lie We Love, euh, sur un titre de 8 minutes. Donc ça, c'est très bien. C'est un très bon disque. Donc je rappelle, l'album, l'album de, disponible depuis le 12 mars. C'est allez-y, achetez-le ou alors allez l'écouter déjà. Très bon disque quoi. Just before the end, two more questions, Aldo. Um, the band has shared the European stage with King Diamond, Gamma Ray. You, you have also been in some great programmation for the festivals. And now the world is starting to come alive again after the, this COVID-19 story. Vaccines are available now. Are you thinking um, to, to go on tour next year or maybe Italian shows? Well, we are, we are trying to, to, to compose a tour, to compose, sorry, to, to, <laughs> to organize a tour for the for next year and we are we are working with different promoters because we have the, we have the intention to go at least in in the country that we have a fan base like Spain like uh, cool. Belgium or Holland of course Italy and I I would like to try again to come back in in in, in France for sure we will be at the Metallian birthday party next fall also so definitely we we will try to to be on the road as soon as possible ok il y a les fan bases notamment de, euh, du groupe Secret Sphere sont l'Espagne bien évidemment sont, euh, sont les, les Pays-Bas il, il aimerait bien aussi revenir en France hein, dans, le, dans, le, dans le cadre des métalianes soirées, des soirées métalianes on attend ça avec impatience parce que ça vaut vraiment le coup quoi. Aldo uh, my last question uh, I have a question about Sweet Oblivion album with Antles yeah sure which sure. you produced and play guitar and uh, with Geoff Tate of course he's singing uh, how did you um, manage to submit the idea to Geoff to sing in Italian on the track Aria Actually, Jeff asked to me to sing in Italian. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> he said that he really loves Italy. He fell in love with Italy many years ago. And he used to be actually, well, now he can't because of the COVID-19. But he used to be in Italy at least one month uh, every year. And he has friends. He has a couple of musicians that, that play with him even live. And he really loves Italy, and he said to me that he was really happy if uh, if I compose a song in, Ita in Italian for for him. And 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 he said, I, I I will promise that I will sing correctly for you. Okay. <laughs> and actually, actually, I was really really impressed when he sent me back the vocals because it's it's not easy for. Uh, For, for him to, to sing in Italian because it's, it's because the accent is totally different comparing the English. Mm. But I, I think that he did great and uh, and I had I'm really happy that that he had the chance to to have this song in Italian craft for him. Effectivement, l'idée hein, sur l'album Relentless des Sweet Oblivion, il y a une chanson en italien, euh, le titre Aria. En fait, c'est Geoff qui a eu l'idée, qui l'a soumis à Aldo et Aldo a travaillé dessus. Au départ, il avait, il avait un peu peur concernant l'accent anglais par rapport à, enfin américain même, l'accent euh, par, par, par rapport à l'italien. Mais non, finalement, Geoff Tate s'en est très très bien sorti. Il a fait un super travail et c'est aussi un, un rêve qui devient réalité, quoi. And finally, the dreams come true, man. Uh, working with Geoff Tate, man. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Aldo, yeah, thank, you very, thank you very much thank for, you, the, uh, for the live interview. Do you have a message for the audience tonight, please? I'm very happy to still have the chance to compose music and to share the music with, with you and with all our friends from France. And I really can't wait to, to, to be there for the Metallian birthday party. And I promise that we will have a really great show for you. Ok, thank you very much. C'était Aldo Lonolobile, guitariste producteur au sein du groupe Secret Sphere. Tout de suite, on continue en musique avec Live Blood. Je rappelle que l'album est disponible depuis le 12 mars dernier. Il y a, il y a des versions, hein, l'édition est limitée, il y a des vinyles, il y a tout, hein, tout est disponible. Vous pouvez l'écouter en même temps. Fantastique. Tout de suite, Live Blood sur 213 Rock on Vinyl Times Classic Rock. Mmh. 